Local news that matters on Local 22 News. At this place in history, we're in Brighton with Steve Perkins, the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. Now, Steve, specifically, we're on the shore of Spectacle Pond. So what brings us here? Sure, on this windy day yeah. up here, uh, Mike, we're going to be talking about Chief Don Eagle, um, who was a Native American wrestler in the 1940s and 1950s. I mean, really kind of this early heyday, shall we say, or formative years of, of wrestling in the United States. And he has a really strong tie to this area and this pond in uh, particular. So uh, we're going to talk to James O'Gorman from the uh, Island Pond Historical Society, and he's going to give us a bit of a background. Well, he's from Canada, part of the Kananawanaki Indian tribe, and uh, his father was a wrestler and boxer and, and trained him as well. Uh, Chief Don Eagle started out in boxing. I think he had 20 professional fights and then moved on to wrestling in the late 40s and early 50s. Uh, very popular at that time with a lot of the uh, wrestlers of that time, Gorgeous George and uh, uh, Killer Kowalski, uh, doing a lot of uh, uh, matches in Chicago. I believe they were filmed um, by television by, from Chicago. And there's a chance that even uh, Muhammad Ali, who as a young man in Louisville, Kentucky, was a very big wrestling fan and borrowed his public personality during his boxing career from Gorgeous George, he might have seen Chief Don Eagle a time or two. That is true. His family purchased property here and established a little homestead. Don Eagle retired in the early 60s, yeah. but in the late 50s, the family turned all this property over to the state of Vermont for a state park. Chief Don Eagle, uh, which was his stage name, was a Mohawk descent. But in a lot of his imagery, he's wearing like Plains Indians gear. And yeah. I, I think, you know, as we look back on that time, um, you know, Native Americans trying to grab their identity uh, were using whatever imagery they could. Um, so in a lot of the images we have of him, he's wearing, you know, the long, almost Plains Indian uh, headdress and, and loincloth. Uh, but in some of them, he does have the traditional Mohawk uh, hairdo. Um, I, I wonder, I, I don't know if this is a rhetorical question, um, how many young Native American kids he may have inspired uh, through his wrestling career. Oh, that, uh, that I don't know. But obviously, it still continues today since the 80s and 90s, and how the popularity of that. And he did mentor a, a, a young uh, wrestler, Billy Two Rivers, who uh, talks fondly of his time. Uh, with Chief Don Eagle. So if people want to learn more about uh, Chief Don Eagle um, or even visit the site of the, the family homestead, how can they do that? Brighton State Park has their own little museum on uh, Don Eagle and we do have a display thanks to the Bradley Reynolds family who were close friends of the family growing up with them with photographs and scrapbooks and materials on, the, on his wrestling career. We're grappling with a mid-20th century pro wrestler at this place in history.